The Mike Pettin Coaches Show, presented by Liberty Ford, continues. Welcome back to the Mike Pettin Coaches Show, driven by Liberty Ford. Time now for our player interview. and very happy to be joined here by Nate Orchard, Browns rookie outside linebacker. Nate, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So i got to ask you, is it tougher going from receiver to defense or college to the NFL? Definitely college to the NFL. Just the physicality, the speed, so much, uh, so much more uh, than you expect. But being a receiver, you know, and playing defensive end, I just had a passion for catching ball at the same time, you know, being physical and manhandling people is fun. <laughs> Do you hope one day to get to be like J.J. Watt, get in some goal line packages and, and get to catch the ball again? Hopefully, hopefully. I, I try to do it in college. Coach Kyle Whittingham didn't let me, so hopefully we'll make <laughs> so it work maybe here. We'll make it work here. All right. How are you feeling physically? I know you've been battling through injury the last couple of weeks. How are you feeling? Banged up. I mean, as anyone would at this point in the season. Um, it's a long season, especially. It's been a long year for myself and all the other rookies. Um, but, I mean, other than that, I mean, I feel good. I feel good. Little, little bumps and bruises here and there, but it's what you expect. You know, they talk about the rookie wall. You've basically played a full college season now. How does this compare to what you did in college? It's a lot more, obviously, <laughs> with the extra four or five games. And that's um, even with playing. You played a lot more snaps per right, game in college. Right, right. But, uh, yeah, you know, your body is, is your... Uh, is your weapon down the road and to have my wife and family here like I just need to be smart off the field is the biggest thing um, and taking care of my body. All right in college 18 and a half sacks last year getting the quarterback was your thing we've heard a lot of praise for your run defense so far this mm -hmm. year you're looking forward to getting back to maybe doing more pass rushing and is it kind of a scheme thing an opportunity thing what do you see there? Uh, I think it's more of a scheme thing um, at the end of the day I just enjoy whatever my role is, whatever coaches want me to do. Um, I know that in the future, my, my numbers aren't what I want it to be right now, but uh, eventually it'll get there. What has kind of been the biggest surprise for you about playing in the NFL? Biggest surprise, like I said, is the physicality. Um, and that, that's what you expect, seeing these guys on TV every Sunday and to be out there with them is a whole nother ball game. Yeah, in the Pac-12, you got a lot of teams trying to spread you out, do a lot of speed, and all of a sudden now in the NFL, a right. lot of power just Let's go hat Most on a hat. Most definitely. In the Pac-12, you know, they're getting plays off 10, 15 seconds. Um, here, it's like eye formation, power run, right to your face, and smash mouth football. When you look at yourself now and compare that to when you stepped in day one, let's say, of training camp, mm -hmm. what's the biggest difference in your game? Oh, my gosh. I think the playbook. Just knowing the playbook um, from when I first got here, I was so overwhelmed. Didn't think I could do it. You know, I was telling my wife, I don't think I should be here. Like, <laughs> this is a lot to handle. But... Uh, made it through and now I'm here and the playbook's cake to me and to see guys coming in and out uh, being able to help them it's, it's fun. What's kind of the mentality you have to take to quote unquote set the edge and what does that mean for the people who might not know at home? Uh, this is outside of our group we you know together create that mentality like you know no more uh, it's been about us the last couple of years we're gonna, that's gonna stop now um, and so we really pride ourselves in not letting that ball come around the edge and just setting and being relentless. You know, a lot of people wondered if you came in, you know, you had your hand on the ground sometimes you, in, in college, sometimes you're standing up, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Here, outside linebacker, you're also asked to cover a lot. Is the fact that you were a receiver, does that kind of help you because you kind of understand how routes are run? Has that been something that's kind of aided you in your transition to being someone who drops more than you certainly did in college? Most definitely. And I think playing basketball and doing track, just those other sports, that all combines and it helps make me a better football player. All right, well, player. tell us about your hoops game. You know, I played a little center, some power forward back in my days, shot some threes. So a little, little bit, bit of a stretch four, you'd call bit. it? I gave, gave a little bit of everything. In the offseason, do you hoop it up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Big time. All right, good. Nate, we appreciate the time. Best of luck to you against the 49ers. No, you're born in California, not raised. Everybody know you're born <laughs> there, so California connection there. And uh, enjoy the rest of the final four games this season. Best of luck to you. Thanks so much. Thanks All for right. having me. All right, Nate Orchard, our guest here. When we come back, we'll wrap up the show, and I'll give my final thoughts as the Browns prepare to take on the San Francisco 49ers when the Mike Pettin Coaches Show, driven by Liberty Ford, returns on News Channel 5.